Welcome right here from the broadcast center stage at the IEC General Meeting 2016. And I'm very happy to be joined by the man who is very much involved in what the DKA is organizing right here in Frankfurt, the General Meeting. He is Chief Technology Officer of a Global Player in Industrial Automation at Phoenix Contact and the President of the German National Committee of the IEC, Roland Benn. Thank you very much for being with us and being here. It's a pleasure, thank you. You've just uh, introduced uh, to the IEC Young Pro Professionals the IEC Master Plan 2017 yeah. right now, a uh, yeah. couple of minutes ago at the mm -hmm. Relab. Um, but leaving open some space for new ideas from the IEC young professionals. So you gave them um, some answers, uh, some questions, and you were stating, if we don't create visions, we will never be there. Uh, so are you very curious on the answers that the young professionals will give? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We, we are facing a lot of challenges, a lot of changes in the future, and we urgently need really each and every idea, and especially the idea of young professionals who are used to all the things uh, which are determine our future, the, the smart world. And that's why we are looking very much forward to get some creative ideas out of this workshop, which we can use for the further stages of the development of the 2017 master plan. And it's also a great opportunity for the young professionals that they can give their input to the master plan. But so of yeah. course, everybody is interested in your opinions as yeah. well. So I would like to go thro through those five core questions mm -hmm. um, to get your answers. So the first one was, um, what are the two or three core topics that the IEC should address in, the in its future strategy? Mm -hmm, yeah, as I already said, the, the major driving force for all the changes which are coming, which we can see, uh, which will come in the future, is the digitalization of our world, of our society, but also of our industrial world. And that has a big impact also to the standardization, and we have to adjust to that. And uh, one of the big impacts is that our world is getting more connected. And uh, that means that technology is converging, that um, more and more technology is coming out of other domains, of other areas, which are not the traditional areas of IC, are decisive for us. Uh, so we have to work more cross-domain, more cross-sectoral. We have to work with stakeholders, with group of people uh, from areas which we did not in the past. So that's one big topic we have to, we have to address. And then, of course, we have to adjust the way how we are working, and on what we are working to the digital world, which means our collaboration has to take ma to, to make more use of the tools of the digital world, the way we are working together, and also the cont content of our standards has to adjust to the needs of digitalization. So can you give us a um, future prospects? What will standards look like in the future? How will they be written and how will they be used? Uh, Absolutely, I, I can try that. It's, um, again, as I said, it's driven by digitalization, uh, which means uh, it is driven by a technology which is changing with a tremendous speed. So we have to gain speed in standardization. We have to adjust our speed of, the, of, the of processes to, to what is going on in the technology and in the world. And we have to take care of the pressure our stakeholders are facing, uh, which is definitely cost pressure and time pressure again. So we have to be more efficient in our work, which leads definitely to, to the question to make more use of online collaboration tools, for example, to become more efficient in the way we are working of the tools of the digital world. And a lot of that can be seen in, in our reinvention lab in the TC of the future already. And it's also about the content of our standards. Uh, our customers, our stakeholders are expecting in the future that they can take a standard and integrate the standard, if you want, into their digital value chain. So we need to have a digital standard, a standard with digitalized content. It means database standards, standards with code components, machine-readable standards. So it's a completely new way of, de of creating deliverables to our stakeholders. So the third question of the five core questions, what future developments can be expected in the IEC's conformity assessment activities and how should IEC prepare for them? Mm -hmm. It's a very important question. Conformity assessment is a very important service of the IEC. And um, of course, if we are talking about digitalized standards or digital content in standards, 
We have also to adjust our conformity assessment schemes, our conformity assessment systems to these digital standards. So we have to find ways to adjust that and to guarantee also in the future that the certification of products against digital standards is of the same quality than it is today. And uh, the second topic is, of course, um, following our great vision of having one standard, one test accepted worldwide. And it's still a long way to go until we have achieved that. That's a task for, for everybody in the, in the, in the commu uh, community or in the commission. It's not just for co the conformity assessment system. Uh, it's also a big task for our national committees to working together with your, their regulators um, making sure that the regulators are accepting the results of IEC conformity assessment as a base for national certification or uh, national approvals. So to get an idea of uh, the future path from your point of view, what should be the role of national committees in the future? It is definitely an important role and, in, and it is an increasingly important role. Uh, all our activity in the IEC is based on the foundation of our national committees and it's based on the quality of what we are doing in our national committees. So that's a big task to adjust the way they are working, the processes, also to the needs of the digital world. In the future we have to take care about new players in the markets. There is technology paradigm shift which also means there are new players in the market, new um, business models in the market and also national committees have to take care about that. Generally spoken, the national committee must make sure that the needs of all stakeholders are reflected in the committee and that's why they have to be attractive for all stakeholders to get them into that activities for industry, for regulators and especially also for young professionals which are the future. Mm -hmm. So to your opinion, what relationship should the IEC strive to have with other consortia? Yeah, that is one of the very important, another <laughs> very important question. They are all important, absolutely. Uh, sometimes we are, have a tendency to complain against uh, the com consortia, uh, the way the how they are working, the topics on which they are working, uh, just to playing a little bit the game between the consensus-based way of standardization we are following in the formal organizations to their way uh, of setting standards. Uh, in the digitalized world, as I already said, a lot of the standards which are impacting us tremendously are made by consortia. And that's a matter of fact and we have to face that. So if we want to make sure that IEC is really the home of industry and IEC is really taking care of all the needs of our stakeholders, we also have to reflect the needs and the requirements of our stakeholders into the activities of the consortia. And um, so we have to find, find ways how to cooperate with them, how to be attractive also for them, creating maybe platforms to, to attract them to work together with us so that we have a chance really to make sure that all the needs of our stakeholders um, yeah, are being reflected in the new standards for the internet world. Um, a big task, a big topic, and um, as I already said, we cannot wait that they will come to us. We have to take the lead and we have to be open for them. So thank you very much, Mr. Ben. Those were your answers, your opinions on yeah. the five questions that the IEC young professionals are answering right now. All this and a lot more will lead to the IEC Master Plan 2017. Absolutely. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. Roland Bent, President of the German National Committee of the IEC. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.